Hi, um, I'm uh, making this video because uh, tomorrow I'm going, I'm in Vancouver right now and I'm going in to have a surgery. I uh, found out I have a small uh, cancer growing inside my bladder uh, just a couple months ago and um, I know most people would never talk about something like this um, but I felt like it's really been a, an awakening for me. It's really helped me to see certain things um, about myself and further about the world and I figure you know this is a good opportunity to help people because um, I know not everyone has got uh, has been through what I've been through or gone through these things and you know it's made me really wake up and I think that um, like when when that kind of thing happens I mean one in three people in North America now are predicted to get cancer and uh, like that's shocking and um, like I've been practicing transcendental meditation since 2010. I do yoga, I eat fairly well, um, but it's like, how could this happen? This is what I asked myself. And uh, I think a big part of it is stress. I've had to deal with incredible amounts of stress, but like once I found this out after I got over the shock of like having a tube shoved in your penis and seeing something on a screen, it's really, frightening but it's like hey this is wake up time and um, I bought this series called the truth about cancer which I highly recommend um, to anyone who wants to learn about nutrition or cancer or anything like that because there are so many doctors that are trying to um, fight this thing with natural means and like we are nature we are part of nature human beings are animals and there's like hundreds of billions of dollars that is being made off of people suffering right now. And I can't stand by and, and uh, see that. And I mean, I know that I'm going in for surgery, which isn't a natural means. I've been using natural means since the beginning to like try and kill this thing before I go in. And I mean, um, there's, there's just so much information out there. And I think that uh, people need to know and talk about this and wake up because people are making a lot of money off of human suffering. And like my journey has shown me, you know, like I woke up a long time ago and, and as a consultant realized like, hey, we could be building buildings to use way less fossil fuel. People in the future are going to be suffering because of climate change and because of these things that we can prevent now if we only think smart. And so I started a company, uh, a website called futureproofmybuilding.com. And like I said, stress has been a major part of what I've gone through. And I've been like playing this game, trying to like corral uh, this idea. I, I trademarked Future Proof in Canada so that I could use it. And like, this is a concept that I want everyone to do. You know, I want everyone to do this. And I try to build a business around it. And I try to convince people and like say, this is the future. This is what we should do. And maybe I wasn't evolved enough as a human being or as a able to pull something like that off but I just could not get the traction that I needed and I ultimately failed but one of the things that really caused me to fail and, and like well I shouldn't say caused me but really contributed to my uh, downfall and, and like hitting bottom and actually that's a great place to grow from um, because it will clean you out it will help you grow um, so thank you John but the thing is is that people have been trying to steal this concept from me like everything from taking my logo and swapping the colors to like the entire business plan and i've paid money for lawyers a lot of money for lawyers to try and fight them but these people are are funded by uh or they were funded by i hope they aren't funded anymore by a bank and a major multi-billion dollar pipeline company and i don't know the the background of that whole situation um and I'm not blaming the companies themselves because they probably did not know about this. And uh, I should probably have said something, um, you know, con contacted them personally and said like, hey, you know, I don't want to fight you with lawyers, but lawyers love a good fight. That's how they make money. And that's how the system works. This is how the, the world works right now. Whoever um, has the most money wins in many cases. And I'm not against money. I'm not against making money. I think that money and, and business can be a force for incredibly positive good. And I actually watched a show called Prosperity online uh, a week ago that is a perfect example of that. 
And this is why I think it's so important to talk about these things is because we should and could be using business and money and uh, our collective effort to make the world a better place. But there are a lot of people that are profiting off of misery and suffering and are using misinformation to to ultimately hold down humanity. And that is just not, I, I consider that immoral. Like maybe that's a judgment and maybe we're all just here to play our part and some people are putting up a, a maybe the, the reason I went through this whole thing, this incredible stress is so that I could grow and be strong enough to not be afraid of cancer and to make this video. I don't know the reason that things happen, but I do know that we all have a point and we all have a purpose and a lot of people are not living up to their their potential at this time in the, in history because of all these lies and i mean like there are government bodies like fossil fuels are being protected uh by not implementing the building standards that i've been implement or been been advocating for like passive house lead all these things they have amazing potential to transform our society and to create massive jobs okay and that's what i was trying to promote and trying to build a business around and someone has actually come and, and tried to do the same thing. I don't know if they're trying to do it to the same level as I was trying to do, but I don't want my gift to the world corrupted so that this system of energy dependence can continue. Like literally everything is energy. Like Nikola Tesla, who gave us this modern world, knew that hundreds of years ago. And he was shut down by financiers because they realized that hey, we can't make money off of this, okay? The same thing is happening I've seen from watching this Truth About Cancer show and other shows on the internet. You can watch people say, hey, I cured stage four cancer by eating apricot seeds, okay? Because, and the FDA will say, hey, these things have cyanide in them and they're toxic, far less toxic than the, the expensive chemo drugs that we want to put in your body, which kills the immune system which is the only thing that fights cancer. Cancer is basically a, uh, from what I can gather from learning this, and it makes perfect sense, it's a combination of stress, toxicity in your body, your immune system, not being able to f uh, fight these things, these cells that just don't get the, si the signal to, hey, die. Uh, and uh, it's, it's like we're being poisoned. We're being poisoned by sugar. It's in practically everything we eat these days. It's... It, we're eating these GMO foods and like this is simple science. This is really simple for people who are going to argue against this. You spray a crop with a chemical or an enzyme that kills everything around it except for the crop. And then we eat these, these foods, these crops. And then what is it going to do to all the flora, the, all the bacteria and stuff, the billions of bacteria that are in our guts that are there to take these nutrients and turn them into nutrition for our bodies. It's gonna kill them. And that's why people are, are, not, are malnourished. That's like, there's so much BS information out there and nobody wants to talk about it because, you know, like I, 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 I'm not blaming doctors for knowing this. They're not taught nutrition. I'm not blaming the press for knowing or for talking about this because their hands are, are tied because they need to make money from advertisers so that they can, uh, you know, have a, a news channel, okay? So like, there's so many things that are tied together in this system, and it's systematic that this is happening, but it shouldn't be happening. We need to collectively stand up and say, hey, enough is enough. This has to be something that happens, and it has to start happening soon before our entire world has a tube stuck up its penis and sees that we're gonna die from cancer. Luckily for me, I caught it early. It's going to be taken care of. It's not going to, I, it's not a big deal. I'm not even worried about it. And if I do die, who cares? I'm going to die anyway. The, the thing is, is that this is, this is something that we need to talk about. People need to wake up. And I don't want this video to be too long. And I don't want to sound like I'm angry because really I'm grateful that I've had this, this wake up call and I've, I've had this journey through life and I've had this amazing opportunity to even you know tell this story through a device that my friend is holding um we have an amazing beautiful world and we have like this incredible ability to shape it we all have power and a lot of people have been told and convinced that they don't have power but you do 
how you spend your money and what you spend it on. Spend it on your health. Spend it on the health of this planet and everyone around you. And you will be happier. You will feel better. You will be happier. And to the people who are trying to push down humanity or who are exploiting humanity, you know, like for profit, I, I feel compassion for you. I really do. Because like it takes a deeply wounded person to think, you know, that they can continue to do this and be happy or to steal someone's gift to the world and that the person won't stand up and fight for it. That's, that's insanity. That's insanity. And, and we live in this insane system. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure a big part of uh, my own um, difficulty has been that I've tried to corral this, this concept of, of future-proofing, which is something which the whole world needs to do. We need to do that. We need to build things that last. We need to think long-term and we need to make the world a better place in doing that. And I mean, um, let, let my experiences be a, a you know, a, a inspiration or whatever for you. But I had to get this off my chest because I, I truly think that we need to talk about these things and we need to start loving each other more and we need to be we're all in this together. We're all a human family and all you need to do is talk to people and you'll find that there's so many connections between everyone. We're all connected and we can't continue to pretend that we're all just separate and that it's one man for himself. No, we're, we're going to destroy this planet if we don't smarten up and we got to do it soon because time's running out and the things that are happening to this planet are just a reflection of the things that are happening to us. So thank you for watching. And if you agree, you know, I, you can share this. You don't need to share it, whatever. Just please think about these things. Talk about these things because this is far more important than who won the hockey game. Like the fact that you're being poisoned, that's important. And it's not like the immediate poisoning. It's the slow poisoning. We've been slowly being poisoned because we're not thinking through things. We're not... We're not living the way that we should. And a lot of people are waking up to this. And I hope you wake up to it too. So thanks for watching.